so this project I'm on is a pretty big project. So I wanted to do kind of like a, you know, just show you what's going on in the shop build and show you some of the processes I'm taking to build this uh, walking raptor that I'm working on. Now I, I drew this up and then had it blown up to uh, the full size I wanted and had it printed out at a local print shop and then came back and cut one of the templates out. And I'm just going to use that as a template to cut out the other parts that I needed. So I roughly cut out the other parts, then came back with a router and a flush trim bit and got everything close and all the details I finished cutting in with a jigsaw. Now the devil's in the details here and I want these to look really cool so came back with a carving knife and some chisels and kind of gave the eyes some shape and I'm shaping the teeth as well to look like you know mean teeth and I'm just doing that with the chisel and I'm gonna come back and paint this Now, whenever I'm painting anything or a new I get open a new can of paint I'll use a knife not not an awl but a knife to punch holes around the rim that really lets all the paint drip through that gets caught up in that rim so you don't have a big mess at the end of it now the first thing I'm doing is putting a coat of primer on the the body parts that I cut out and then I'm going to come back and put a coat of paint on now all this stuff is going to get spray painted but when you coat something with paint first and this is oil based exterior oil based and then you come back and spray paint it later the spray paint dries really fast and it gives you that real durable coat so after getting those done, I cut out some spacers and screwed two sides together. And then I'm switching over to working on the leg components. Now these leg components are actually going to be the part that moves. This is the robotic part of it, I guess, if you want to call it that. Now to do that, I just put some layers together and then I pin nailed them together and added some tape and then glued the templates to the tape so I didn't have to mess around with trying to get that glue off of the parts when I was done. And then took everything over to the bandsaw and cut all the parts out on the bandsaw. Now because there are so many parts and there's a lot going on, I'm not going to make a template and you know follow it with a router. Uh, I just stack them up and get cut as close to the line as I can and I'll come back and do a little finish sanding later and that's the way I can just get these done really quickly. Now after I had everything cut out on the bandsaw, I came back and drilled out all the hinge uh, areas on the drill press. I don't know why but I love watching drill press in slow motion so uh, before I took all these parts apart uh, I came back and painted all the edges it was just easier to get the edges all painted while they're still all together and um, not have to do it individually after I take them apart have I mentioned how much I hate painting I don't know why I do this to myself now the next thing I needed to start thinking about was the bushings. I'm going to use bushings in each of those hole positions or where there'll be hinge positions on the walking mechanism. And rather than going out and buying them, they're about $3.20 a piece for the 3 8 and the half inch uh, bushings. And I need 148 of them. So I decided I was going to make them. And it ended up taking better part of three days to do all the bushings and metal parts I needed for this build. So I'm not sure if I came out ahead or not. Uh, after all the metal parts were done, I came, turned my attention back towards the legs uh, and I just pulled them apart and used my, uh, my needle nose pliers there to remove all the pin nails I used to have them stacked together. Now you can see there's a lot of components that are going into the leg systems. So once those were all pulled apart and I cleaned them up on the sander and then painted them again off camera. Now I'm going to add these bushings that I made and to do that I made the hole a little bit smaller than the bushing itself so I could just get that started in and then I took it over to the uh, my vise and basically used that as a press to press all these bushings in. That way I don't have to glue them, I don't have to worry about them sliding around during assembly. Now once they're together the uh, washers and bearing, thrust bearings and stuff will keep them in place but this way I know I get everything lined up really nice and neat. So I also painted the body with some um, spray paint I'm trying to get that metallic look and once that was done I came back and started drilling out all the positions where the bearings and the rods are going to go to mount the walking mechanism to the body of the Raptor. Okay, so I did uh, some painting off camera. I painted all the parts uh, with some silver paint, try to give it kind of a metallic look. I just wanted to show you the leg assembly. I didn't show putting it together, but the assembly is really quite simple when you really look at it at its base components. You have an upper joint here, which is I call the hip joint. 
There's one on either side, front and back. And then the lower joint here, which is the, what I'm calling the leg joint, and it's or the leg piece, and it's just another, again, front and back. There's two pieces. Now, these two are basically triangles, and there's two linkages that tie those two together, this front and back, here and here. And then this is the drive linkage. This linkage is attached to the upper hip and to the, the leg here in the front. And that's how this whole thing works. This shaft rotates and creates um, a walking motion. And the really nice thing about the, um, the really nice thing about Jensen's uh, walking mechanism is it has that really nice flat uh, tra path, traveling path on the bottom. So once it hits, it just basically runs flat across, but then, then the leg lifts up and comes down. And one of the reasons I like using Theo Jensen's walking mechanism is because it looks so organic. When I'm doing things like the dinosaur builds, or in this case, the Velociraptor, the whole motion looks I mean, it looks alive, it looks organic, and that's why I use this mechanism for these builds. Now, I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to show you more in the next video about how the drive system works and how I'm going to tie some of this stuff all together and how this thing, and then we'll get to see this thing in action uh, in the next video. Now, that's still a couple weeks away. Now, and again, one of the reasons it's taking me so long to build, because there's three of them. I don't normally like posting videos kind of halfway through the project, but in this case, this is a really long project that's going to take a while to finish, and I've got a little bit to go yet, so I'm waiting on some parts. Now, if you want to follow me on Instagram or on Facebook, I post build updates on this kind of stuff. I've already been posting build updates over there, so if you uh, follow me, I'll put links in the description box below. You can see the build progress as this is moving along to its final finishing point. And uh, don't forget to check out the new website, izzyswan.com. Lots of woodworking plans and articles and cool stuff over there. Thanks for watching. We'll be talking to you soon.